Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So we got a lot to talk about regarding Mr. Mark Daly and Kenya Moore Hair Care. Everyday Radar Online is uncovering what is in these court documents. And I'm all the way here for it. So if you guys want to check out the uh, Radar Online article, go ahead and click the links down below. But y'all, here is the real reason why Mr. Mark Daly, the man with the nose ring, wants Kenya Moore's house. Okay, is y'all ready for this tea? So according to Radar Online, child. Okay, in some new uncovered court documents that keep on being revealed every single day, Mark wants private proceedings, okay, for his divorce. You guys know that they're going through this, uh, you know, divorce battle. Um, and he has asked the judge that documents be sealed up. He says that he wants private proceedings. He doesn't want things getting out to the press because he claims that his daughter, Miss Brooklyn Daly, and himself are being threatened by Roa fans, okay? Now, you guys, I don't know what the hell to believe, right? Mark Daly is saying that him and his daughter are being threatened, and on one hand, I kind of believe him because I know from firsthand experience that some of y'all Real Housewives of Atlanta fans are crazy, okay? And I know this because y'all be up under my comments, um, you know, I have studied the psychosis of the craziness and some of y'all are off your damn rockers. OK, you need some help. And so on one hand, I'm like, OK, I kind of understand where Mark is coming from. There are a lot of crazies out there that will uh, threaten Mark and maybe the baby, too. OK, which is really unfortunate, because if you are on social media or on any other platforms threatening an innocent child, you literally have problems. OK, somebody get the straitjacket. Right. Uh, somebody needs to be ushered into Sing Sing <laughs> in the words of Miss Karen Huger. Uh, no. With that being said, y'all, that's the reason why I would believe this. But the more I think about it, I'm like, oh, my God, I feel as though Mr. Mark Daly with the nose ring is capping. OK, I feel like this entire situation is nothing but a whole big cap. OK, a whole nightcap. Um, because. Just a couple of days ago, we got wind of some court documents, okay, some filings uh, that Miss Kenya Moore Hair Care asked the judge for an emergency hearing because she said that there were, you know, issues that were negatively impacting the child, right, throughout this whole uh, custody battle. And Mr. Mark Daly with the nose ring combated that with his own statement by saying that there are no issues negatively impacting their daughter. So which one is it, Mark? with the nose ring which one is it okay is the nose ring pinching your nose too tight are there issues that are negatively impacting the child or is the girl being threatened okay along with you it's just a lot of contradictory statements going on and at this point i feel like mark daly's whole life is a lie okay how karen huger say we all know that your whole life is a lie and you are a fraud and so at this point i don't know if we can trust what Mark is saying, it just kind of feels like Kenya Moore is pushing this narrative that Mark might be an unfit parent. And it's pretty clear that Mark is trying to push back with that same narrative with Kenya Moore hair care. So now you guys, it's not over. OK, you didn't think it was over, did you? No, Radar Online had even more tea. Not only is he claiming that he's being threatened along with his daughter, Brooklyn, but apparently he says that he wants these court proceedings to remain private because every time there is bad press about him, Kenya, Brooklyn, or anybody else involved in the situation, that his restaurant experiences low revenue. Now this, okay, this right here, this I believe. Okay, how did you say this? I like this. Okay, you did that. And I believe this because I've been telling y'all that you know, one of the reasons why the man has not moved to Atlanta is that he wants to keep a very close eye on that restaurant, okay? And apparently, and allegedly some other women, but that's a whole different story for another day. Um, he wants to keep a very close eye on that restaurant, especially during the coronavirus pandemic, because y'all know restaurants are closing everywhere. That mixed with a lot of bad press. OK, involving you, your family, your custody battle, how mean and abusive you are to your wife, emotionally abusive. OK, and that is not alleged because that was caught on camera. 
But anyways, I say that to say I do believe that, okay? I do believe that when uh, he's in the griot or when he's in People Magazine or when we talk about him on House of Aaron that people stop going to his restaurant because nobody wants to eat at a restaurant that's owned by a person who's emotionally abusive to their innocent wife. Right. And you guys know that I don't even like Miss Kenya more hair care. But when it comes to Mark Daly, I feel like Kenya is a victim. OK, Kenya is a victim. And we've talked about this a million times how Miss Kenya more hair care was down and out. OK, her uh, pageant life was over. She wasn't guest starring on no more black sitcoms. And so she had to travel to Atlanta to finally rebuild her career again. She built that house up from the ground up. And here Mark comes with a whole nose ring trying to come in and take the lady house. Y'all, I've been telling you for a whole year that the restaurant is not doing too hot. And uh, that is the reason why he's asking for this equity in a home that's not even his. Okay, his marital residence that he never lived in. He's asking for the equity because he says being with this woman has negatively impacted my restaurant. Okay, not my child, but it's negatively impacted my restaurant. And so if I'm going to finally get out of this marriage, I need some compensation back. Anyways, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Mark Daly is the scammer of the century. We don't like him. We don't want him. We don't want to see him. We don't want that nose ring no more. Okay. He's weird. He's strange. How Nini say it's getting weird. The ghetto. We bring our own drinks into places like these. Now, you guys, before we log off, of course, we could not not talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills that aired last night. Did you guys watch? Okay, did you watch? Because, honey, it was juicy. Okay, it was really good. And I feel like this season is finally getting somewhere. Okay, we are finally cutting through the bullshit and we're being real about the situation. Thanks to uh, Miss Sutton Strack, who I did not like at the beginning of this season because she was seeming a little racist. But I feel like she has redeemed herself because she has finally seen the light of day when it comes to the freak and fraud that is uh miss erica jane okay she's a freak when it comes to you know the stage performances and she's a fraud when she's sitting at night getting all of the information from tom allegedly okay you mean to tell me he was dropping 20 million dollars into your llc while widows and orphans and burn victims were being scammed out of millions of dollars you mean to tell me you didn't know anything how sudden say ignorance is not an excuse Ain't no excuses for this whole Ponzi scheme that you were allegedly a part of, okay? You guys can clearly tell that I do not like the woman, okay? I do not like her because I have been watching this entire season, watching her life unfold. She's acting like some sort of damsel in distress, purposely uh, downsizing her house and her cars and her shoes and her clothes, um, purposely wearing non-waterproof mascara so that she looks like she's in shambles. When really, she's a liar. Okay, the girl is a liar. And I'm glad that on last night's episode, Sutton Strack decided to take it upon herself to really uncover the inconsistencies in her lies. There are so many. Okay, the fact that you don't have an ATM, bank card, a debit card with a checkings account, lie. Okay, the fact that you told Garcelle that there was no third party and then three episodes later, the man cheated on you lie you told us that you had no communication with tom since you moved out of the house and then we found out that he's been calling you every day lie the fact that you said that you have no communication with his lawyers or his people lie anyways on last night's episode y'all sutton strack had a meeting at the reed's house where they all came together and sutton expressed her concerns about the la times article that really laid out the ponzi scheme that uh erica and tom are implicated in now, when everybody was sitting around in that circle, I personally got the impression that they were all on one accord with the exclusion of Lisa Rinna, who is just the fakest person on the show, okay, along with Erica and Kyle Richards and Dorit. Um, I got the impression that everybody was kind of on one accord when it came to, okay, we're going to ask Erica the hard questions when we see her at the Christmas party. And then we fast forward to the Christmas party, y'all, and guess what happens? Guess what happens? Everybody folds, okay? Everybody acts like, oh, we never came together and we never said this about Erica and we never did that and Sutton was the only one and this, that, and the third. Lisa Renna is fake. Kyle Richards is fake. Dorit Kimsley is a liar, okay? Kathy Hilton is in La La Land talking about some damn hunky-dory 
And the only people, the only three people on the show that are keeping it real at this point is Miss Crystal Minkoff, Garcelle Bouvet, and Sutton Strack. I feel like they are the only ones that have a brain. So I want to pose the question to you guys. Did you think it was unfair for the ladies to fold and have Sutton Strack out there being the only one asking the hard questions? All right, we got to uh, talk about it. Make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys a little bit later. Don't forget to create a great day.